always looking for healthy ways to reduce our risk of cancer. And here's a new clinical trial that just came out showing that rice bran may prevent cancer. What great news, huh? Especially. It, well, it is. I mean, you're looking at something that's very simple that, that can do something that impressive. I mean, we should be looking to Mother Nature for the cure for a lot of things. And, of course, rice bran does a lot of things. Well, especially with 100,000 different varieties of rice bran, and it's from. a staple all over the world, the catch mm -hmm. is that it needs to be brown rice because right. that's what has the bran in it. And when they convert brown rice to white rice, they take the bran out. It's like when we, when we refine most foods, what happens is we take the good stuff out. And that's why throughout history that the poor people actually had better health than the rich people did because they didn't refine their food to make it taste a little bit better. So a lot of times when you buy white rice, it says it's enriched. <laughs> right, it has to be. It's like, like bread that's enriched. They take out about 25 things, put four back in, and call it enriched. <laughs> Not such a way to enrich anything. Yeah, but the thing is, is too, that there's no bran in it. So that's what they that's are the active saying ingredient. Is, is preventing cancer. So, so what is, how does it do that? Okay, well, it stops cellular pro proliferation to start with, so it slows down cell growth. And it actually encourages the cancer cells to kill themselves. There's a natural process called apoptosis, which really means that there's a limited uh, lifespan for cells. And apoptosis is the way cells uh, actually finish themselves off. It's a natural process. But if you don't, then you have a cancer and you have this perpetual growth. And, of course, you make all these... Uh, all these tumors in different places that you can't get rid of. Well, I think one of the things that's so great about the rice bran is that it cr creates um, healthy cells that are surrounding the cancer cells. And so, and then like you said, it's also getting rid of the cancer cells. So this is like, it sounds perfect, really. Well, I mean, chemotherapy kills everything. When well, I say everything, I mean... It it's less specific. The surrounding tissues as well as what... Yeah, where it, the cancer cells are. In general, when you're looking at stage four cancers, the five-year survival rate is under 3%. So when we can add things like this that are safe, inexpensive, and may work, uh, we certainly should be doing more clinical trials. Our National Institutes of Health has a responsibility to do this kind of research rather than just stuff that can make money through the pharmaceutical industry. And because rice is all over the world, this has the potential to help a lot of people. For sure. Just don't refine it. It also works as a great way to uh, cause the gut bacteria to be fed and to make the ones that are the ones we need grow. It's like f it's food for the healthy bacteria. And when you've got a thousand species of microbes in the gut and more uh, microbes and we have cells in our body by tenfold, there is a lot of metabolic activity here and a lot of cancers get their start from metabolism that's in the gut. So to be able to get the good bacteria to grow and to reproduce is something that could be very helpful to prevent cancers and if you've got one to make them less likely to grow. You know, and think about it. Brown rice is, besides starch, it's, it's high in fiber and vitamins and minerals and essential fatty acids. In fact, rice bran oil is a really healthy oil to cook with. Indeed. And I've noticed that when I go to a restaurant or when we go to restaurants, um, if they serve rice with the dinner, I'll ask if they have brown rice. And, you know, most of the Asian restaurants now do. really do, do offer that as a, as a choice. Well, as we're starting to get smarter about nutrition, uh, this is what's happening. So we need to think about prevention. You know, we always hear about chemotherapy and, and, and fights and walks for the cure and all that kind mm. of thing. But what about chemo prevention? This is part of preventing cancer and then also helping to prevent it from spread if you are so unfortunate as to have it. Well, I think there are a lot of natural things that work far better than chemotherapy does, especially in stage four cancers. And lifestyles are most important uh, approach to making that happen. So what you eat, uh, exercising to detoxify you, to get plenty of sleep, to make sure your cortisol levels aren't too high, uh, to uh, make sure that you're not under too much stress, uh, that you're not exposed to too many chemicals in the environment that are toxic. These are the mainstay of what we need to do if we want to try and do something about preventing cancer. So we can. So the idea of using rice bran is one more tool 
that we can put in our, our bag of tricks that may help us to be a little bit more healthier and a little less likely to get cancer if we have it, maybe stretch out that we live a little